Have you ever felt that pain in your chest when someone rejects you or when you receive harsh criticism? Today, we're going to turn that pain into strength. Welcome to Charm Blueprint, where we explore the secrets of relationships, seduction, and self-development. And in today's video, we're going to talk about how to deal with rejection and criticism constructively. But before we continue, don't forget to hit that like button to help us keep sharing valuable content like this. Ready, let's go! Rejection and criticism are inevitable parts of life, especially when we're trying to improve our seduction and flirting skills. Whether it's at work, in relationships, or even in a hobby, no one is immune to them. Sometimes it may seem like life is testing us, but these experiences are actually opportunities in disguise. It's important to understand that rejection and criticism are part of the growth process. When we aim to become better in any area, especially in flirting and seduction, we will inevitably encounter obstacles. The secret lies in how we choose to react to these situations. Rejection can feel like a hard blow to our confidence, but it's crucial to remember that each no received is a step closer to a yes. And when it comes to criticism, it can be tough to hear, but often it contains valuable lessons that can help us improve. The way we handle rejection and criticism can truly define our success and personal growth. If we allow these experiences to bring us down, we might lose motivation and confidence. But if we learn to face them head on, we can come out stronger and better prepared for any challenge. In this video, we're going to explore how to turn these tough moments into growth opportunities so you can keep evolving and becoming the best version of yourself. Stay tuned because the tips I'm going to share will help you become even more resilient and ready to face any situation. Understanding Rejection First, let's understand rejection. It can be painful, but it doesn't define your worth as a person. Rejection is merely a response to a specific situation and not a complete evaluation of who you are. It's essential to remember this when dealing with rejection, whether it's in a date, at work, or any other area of life. When you face rejection, it's natural to feel discouraged or even doubt yourself. But it's important to recognize that rejection often says more about the circumstances of the moment or someone else's preferences than about your qualities and abilities. Everyone has their own perspectives and reasons, and often, rejection is simply a matter of incompatibility or timing. Additionally, rejection can be an excellent opportunity for reflection and self-improvement. Ask yourself, what can I learn from this experience? Instead of focusing on the immediate pain, try to see the situation as a chance to grow. Maybe there's something you can improve, or maybe it's just a reminder that persistence is key. Finally, remember that rejection is part of everyone's journey. Even the most successful and charismatic people have faced rejections at some point. What sets them apart is how they handle these experiences. Instead of giving up, they learn to get back up, adjust their approaches, and keep moving forward with even more determination. And you can do the same. Accepting criticism positively. Now let's talk about criticism. Receiving negative feedback can be tough, and often, our first reaction is to get defensive or feel down. But it's important to remember that criticism, when seen in the right way, can be a valuable opportunity for growth. The key is to distinguish constructive criticism from destructive criticism. Constructive criticism comes with the intention of helping you improve, offering practical suggestions and useful insights. Destructive criticism, on the other hand, aims only to bring you down without any useful basis. When you receive criticism, ask yourself, what can I learn from this? And how can I improve? Use these questions to filter constructive criticism and make the most out of it. Sometimes, criticism can reveal blind spots you hadn't noticed, offering a new perspective for your development. Adopting this mindset not only helps you deal better with criticism, but also demonstrates maturity and a willingness to grow. Remember, nobody is perfect, and we are all in a constant state of evolution. Accepting and learning from criticism is one of the most effective ways to accelerate this process. Strategies for dealing with rejection and criticism. Now that we understand rejection and criticism, let's explore some practical strategies for dealing with these situations constructively. Keep perspective. Remember that rejection or criticism is just a moment in time. Don't let a negative experience define your future. Each no you receive is an opportunity to adjust your approach and keep trying. Don't let a temporary setback steal your confidence or divert you from your path. Build resilience. Face the pain and learn from it. Each obstacle you overcome strengthens your emotional resilience. Rejection and criticism can be painful, but each time you overcome them, you become stronger and more prepared to face future challenges. See each difficulty as a chance to grow and strengthen yourself. Seek constructive feedback. When you receive criticism, 
Try to understand what can be improved. Ask trusted people for practical advice. Not all criticism is useful, but those that come from reliable sources can offer valuable insights. Be open to listening and learning, even if it's not always easy. Stay positive. Focus on your qualities and achievements. Use criticism as fuel to keep growing. It's easy to focus on the negatives, but don't forget to recognize your accomplishments and strengths. Maintaining a positive view of yourself is crucial to keep moving forward with confidence. Practice self-care. Take care of your mental and physical health. Exercise, good nutrition, and relaxation moments help keep your mind clear and strong. When we are physically and mentally healthy, we handle stress and adversity better. Make time for activities that make you feel good and help recharge your energy. So folks, now that we've explored how to understand and deal with rejection and criticism, it's time to put these strategies into practice. Remember that every challenge is a disguised opportunity, a chance to strengthen and evolve. Dealing with rejection and criticism is never easy, but with the right mindset, you can turn these challenges into growth opportunities. Remember, each no and each negative feedback are steps closer to your goal. Believe it, you are stronger than you think. Keep striving, learning, and evolving. Lastly, creating these videos takes time and requires editing tools. If you want to support the channel and help keep this content coming, consider buying me a beer through the link in the pinned comment. So, if you think the content is helping and you want to see more, a virtual beer is always welcome. Your support is crucial for us to continue bringing valuable tips on relationships and self-improvement. See you next time!